Hey everyone, Andrew back again and welcome to another video. Finally back with another video. It has been quite a while since my last update. I think well over a month actually, so quite a long time. But I am back with another Blu-ray DVD update. But before I get into that, I'm just wanting to give a quick explanation, I guess, as to why I haven't really been uploading anything recently. I basically have decided now to pretty much just do monthly updates, um, DVD Blu-ray updates pretty much, and that's all I'll really be doing from now on, um, at least that's my intention. So I wouldn't say I've lost interest in my channel, um, but I've noticed the community, especially the horror community, to be completely honest, it's pretty much dead now. I've been on YouTube for well over four years and I've had a really really awesome time I've met some great people but I just kind of feel that it's now time to take a bit of a step back so yeah I will be pretty much just continuing my monthly blu-ray dvd updates and that's going to be pretty much it but I just wanted to explain to you guys what's going on so anyway with that being said let's get into the update so I'm going to start with my DVDs first. Alright, so first up for the DVDs, non-horror title, and that is Ping Pong Summer. And I picked this one up pretty cheap during one of JB's recent 20% off movie sales. And I've got to say, this was pretty good. It was nothing utterly amazing, but I pretty much got what I expected out of the movie. Basically, this is set in 1985. It's about a family who goes away on a summer vacation to a beachside town. Um, the teenage son, I think he's about 13, he's obsessed with hip-hop and ping-pong. And basically throughout the movie he ends up building up to the end of the film where he takes on one of the local bullies at a game of ping-pong. It's kind of similar to The Karate Kid. Um, I mean, there's no karate, obviously, but it's sort of got that vibe to it with the whole ping-pong training thing. My one issue that I did have with the movie is I kind of wish that he had trained a little bit more in-depth for the ping-pong game at the end of the movie. But other than that, you know, it was a pretty decent 80s set film. So if that's your thing, I do recommend checking it out. Next up, and now on to the horror titles, I finally got around to picking up a copy of It. I cannot believe it's taken me this long to finally get the movie into the collection, so still haven't checked this one out, um, haven't really had a lot of time to sit down and dedicate to the length of this movie, but I'm glad to finally own it and I am looking forward to checking it out. Next up we have Creepy Crawlers, and I pretty much know next to nothing about this movie. It's a creature feature and it sounds pretty decent, so if anyone has seen this definitely let me know what you think of it. I haven't checked it out yet, but I came across this randomly on eBay. It was really cheap and I decided to pick it up. I love creature features, so I'm looking forward to giving this one a crack and I really really love the cover art on this one it looks pretty awesome so that's creepy crawlers and last for the DVDs we have cutting class with Brad Pitt um, one of Brad Pitt's really really young roles actually and I still haven't got around to this one either but this one I've heard is a pretty decent slasher and this particular release it's the Australian region 4 DVD is one that's pretty rare I don't really see it too often and this was like five bucks shipped off eBay, so I thought, why not? And I've been wanting this for a while, actually, so glad to add this one to the Slasher collection. All right, DVDs out of the way. Let's move on to the Blu-rays. So first up for the Blu-rays, we have The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1. And I'm sure most of you know that I'm a pretty big fan of the series. I've read the books, and I've also seen the films. So I was highly anticipating this one. This one I didn't actually get around to checking out in theatres, so I did pick up the Blu-ray release. And I've got to say this was another solid entry into the franchise. I was I wouldn't say I was disappointed, but I was kind of expecting more from this movie. Um not a lot really happened. And I'm definitely looking forward to part two, because I think that's when the action will really ramp up and it'll tie everything up, obviously. While this movie was really good. It's not 
anywhere near as good as the first two films in my opinion. I definitely prefer when they're in the games. But that being said, Mockingjay Part 1 was still another really, really good addition to the Hunger Games franchise. Next up for the Blu-rays we have Earth to Echo and the best way to describe this movie is it's pretty much really similar to stuff like Super 8 and E.T. Basically it's about a group of friends who spend their last night together. Essentially a big sort of council group are demolishing the area that they live in. So they decided to spend their last night helping a little alien which um, they basically discover out in the desert. There's a lot more to it but I'm not really going to get too much more into the plot. I've got to say this was nowhere near as good as I was expecting it to be. It's definitely nowhere near as good as Super 8 or E.T. I mean nothing could ever come close to E.T. My biggest complaint with this movie was the um, camera shots that were used throughout this movie. Basically it was sort of shot kind of with three different cameras. Um, there was your normal film movie camera and then other stuff was done via like GoPro cam stuff and mobile phones and it just sort of flicked between the three different cameras a little bit too much and I didn't really like it too much. Um, the characters were kind of plain and average I guess so yeah I was a little bit disappointed in this one. It wasn't terrible but then it wasn't anything too special either. Next for the Blu-rays, um, this title pretty much speaks for itself. Um, added yet another edition of Halloween into the collection. This was one that I did not have which I was kind of surprised um, to see that I didn't already own this. I think this was another five dollar pickup off eBay actually and it's the um, very first Blu-ray release from the US of Halloween so just decided to add this one into the collection. Next up we have Clown which is a fairly recent horror movie. Um, Eli Roth was involved with this one and I was really really pretty keen to check this one out. I'm a massive fan of Clowns, Killer Clown movies and I've got to say this one was a massive disappointment. I do not recommend this one at all. It was really really boring. Not a lot really happened and yeah I did not enjoy this one at all. Basically it's about a um, family of three, the mother, the father and the little son. It's the son's birthday, there's meant to be a clown turning up, the clown ends up cancelling or the company ends up cancelling the clown on the birthday party. So the dad's at work, he's like a real estate agent and he happens to be working at a house that he's doing up for sale and he discovers a clown costume. So he dresses up in the clown costume to make the son happy and it turns out that the um, clown costume cannot be removed and he's basically stuck in this costume. He can't get it off and it pretty much turns him into an evil clown demon. Very very boring. Nothing really happens at all. It's pretty much just the movie centering around the father trying to get this costume off. So I was really disappointed with this one. I mean they could have done a lot more. They could have went down the slasher vein with this one, which they should have. But yeah, super super boring. Really disappointed. Stay away from it. Next up we have These Final Hours. And this is a fairly recent Australian movie. And I was definitely really eager to check this one out. I had my eyes on this one for a while. And this was absolutely fantastic. It's a end of the world apocalyptic thriller movie. I guess you'd classify it as a thriller. But yeah, it was really, really well done. This was filmed over in Perth. And it was really well shot, really well acted. And just an absolutely fantastic film. Nathan Phillips was the main character in this one. He's also been in quite a few other movies like Wolf Creek, the first one. And again, he was pretty impressive in his role. So basically it centers around him, he's trying to get to an end of the world party and he comes across a young girl who's trying to um, go to her auntie's place where hopefully her father is. Basically these two guys end up kidnapping the girl. So it's just essentially their adventure together trying to get to the location before the world ends in 12 hours really really good the storyline was solid the acting was really good and this was extremely well shot so 
I definitely recommend this one. It was fantastic. Next up we have From Beyond, which is one of the recent Umbrella Entertainment releases over here. And this is the JB exclusive Hi-Fi alternate cover. And I've got to say the alternate cover on this one is pretty awesome. This is a movie that I've been wanting for quite a while. And I'm looking forward to checking this one out at some point. I haven't got around to it yet, but I've heard a lot of great things about it. So glad to see Umbrella release this one and I'm looking forward to checking it out. And to finish off the update, I picked up three more Cinema Cult Blu-rays. Um, they're all fairly recent releases. So the first one is Scum. And of course this movie really needs no introduction. I've been wanting to watch this movie for years and I completely forgot about it until I noticed that this was getting a Blu-ray release from Cinema Cult. Jumped on it straight away and this movie was absolutely fantastic. I really, really enjoyed it. And I'm sure most of you have seen this already, but basically it's about um, survival in the Borstal system over in the UK, which is like a juvenile delinquent um, prison system. Really brutal movie, but extremely well acted, and I really, really enjoyed this one a lot. So I definitely recommend it, and I recommend this Blu-ray release. Next up we have Salo, or The 120 Days of Sodom. Some good old Disney wholesome family viewing right here. Now, I've heard a lot about this movie. You know, it's um, fairly notorious. And the curiosity got the better of me. It was definitely a movie that I never really intended to ever watch. Um, it's not really the type of movie that I normally go for. But it was really cheap. And I thought, you know, why not? I'm curious about it. I want to see what all the fuss is about. So I did get through it. And I've got to say, it wasn't really as bad as I was expecting, especially from a graphic standpoint. I mean, there's a lot of really messed up and sick stuff that happens throughout this movie. But from a graphical standpoint, it wasn't quite as bad as I was expecting. Um, not really a lot more I can say about this film. It's not one that I'll probably watch a lot. I mean, I may not even re-watch it again, but... You know, I definitely wanted to check it out anyway. And the Blu-ray release is really, really solid. Um, this is a great release, so if you are a fan of this movie or you want to check it out on Blu-ray, I definitely recommend the Cinema Cult release. Um, one thing that did kind of take me out of the movie a little bit was the characters, you know. I didn't really feel the acting was that realistic to the situation. And... Um, sort of the thing that really disturbed me the most is, um, was the feeling towards the actors. I mean, they went through some horrific stuff during this filming. I mean, I really felt sorry for the cast, actually, more than anything. But, yeah, I mean, that's really all I have to say on this film. It was an experience, and, yeah, that's that. And last, but certainly not least, we have Killer Clowns from Outer Space, again from Cinema Cult. Now, I already own the US Blu-ray release of this one, but I always like to pick up um, local releases, Region 4 releases, when I can. And again, like Salo, this was another really cheap one. It's pretty much identical to the US release in terms of transfer and special features, so this is a pretty solid release. If you are a fan of this film, um, it's a really fun, cheesy Killer Clown 80s movie, I'm sure most of you are familiar with it, but I definitely recommend the Blu-ray release. Um, the picture quality is really good. And yeah, not much more to say about it. It's super cheesy, super fun, and I really like Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And I almost forgot to show this guy off, can't believe it, but I finally picked up a Rob Zombie's Halloween Michael figure. Been wanting one of these for ages now, and they are pretty rare. But yeah, this guy is the 18-inch version, and he looks amazing. I'm really, really happy with it. Got this for an excellent price off eBay, and I've got him with the alternate Asylum Escape mask on at the moment. But he does also come with the Buried mask, which looks really, really cool as well. There's some great detail on it. An extra knife. But yeah, this bad boy looks amazing, and... Really, really happy to finally own a Rob Zombie Halloween figure in the collection. 
Anyway guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this update. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think of the stuff I've added to the collection. And thank you for watching.